Hi, I'm Nawid Ansari and this video I'm gonna show you how you can do this. So in here, if you hit ESC on your keyboard, it go to pause the menu, okay? And wherever you hit ESC or escape on your keyboard, it will go to the pause menu, pause menu. So without any further ado, let's begin. So we have this simple project that I, it's free on uh, YoYo Marketplace and we have this, okay? It's just a platformer and let's have that pause menu. For that, let's just create an object in here. Let's just call it OBG pause. And in here, first of all, let's add a create event. I want to create a Boolean variable pause equal false at the start at the default. Next thing that I want to do, I want to just add a key pressed event for our escape button. Okay, so we do it like this. And in here, we just say pause equal not false okay so if it's false it make it true and if it's true it make it false every time that you hit pause on your keyboard it should go through pause menu and if you hit escape again it go out of the pause menu okay that's all we need to do in this key press escape let's just close it we need this create for after for future okay so let's just add another event for drawing because uh, we want to pause our menu right so in here first thing first thing to do we should say if pause if pause equal true do this stuff else do this stuff okay so in when we are in a pause we want to create a surface and draw our application surface to that surface and draw that surface okay so for that let's just create that surface in here create a variable for our surface let's call it pause surf and i want to get call it minus one and um, when i know that we have this variable in here we check if surface is not exist or pause surface is not exist do all of this else to all of this okay so first we check if the surface is not exist create that surface surface right for creating that surface we can say surface create and the size the width and height of this surface i want to be room width and room height okay and we should put it on this past surface that we create in create event okay so let's just paste it here so we created we create our surface i put it in here and no we can say we can set the target for this surface so we say surface set target and give it this target copy and paste it with ctrl c and ctrl v and know that we set it we can draw our application surface to this surface that we created okay so so the application surface is just this uh, it's just our game right so this our game is drawing at the application surfaces at the room speed every second okay so we want to draw this surface on our new surface so for that after we set the target to the pause surface we can draw surface of our application set application surface okay and I want to draw it from 0 and 0, the X and Y. And after we draw that surface, draw the application surface to the surface that we create, now we can say surface reset target. And all of this line of code you always do when you want to create a surface. First, you check if the surface exists. If it's not, we create it, we set the target, we draw whatever we want in it. In this case, we draw application surface in it. And after that, we say surface reset target because after that, we want to do whatever we want, right? In the else part of this if, we want to draw that surface that we create in here, okay? So for that, we say draw surface the surface that we want to draw this time is pause surface okay and we want to draw it from zero and zero know that we have this let's just add this obg pause to our room so let's just open up our room obg pause i add it and let's just run it now and now if we hit escape on our keyboard you see everything is paused and nothing is happening so if we hit escape again it will run again hit escape and it will pause hit escape again it will run again okay but there is a problem if we hit escape and play our game let's say hit d on our keyboard we uh, go to this um, platform in here and hit escape again it will be there why because this uh, we draw just a image in application surface but we did we didn't disable anything so the play the game is running on the background we don't want that so for that we should in here say instance deactive all oh, true okay so with this everything should be deactivated when we are in the pause menu okay so if i hit a space 
everything will be disabled but it won't be enabled so if we hit escape again everything will be gone okay so for for getting rid of that in the else part of this if so if it's not paused everything should be activated again so for that we say instance activate all and that's all we need to do and you can see if we hit a space everything is paused if we go right we'll jump and everything whatever you do nothing happened and if we hit escape again everything will be wrong the problem in here so let's just say if we hit a space in here it will everything go to pause state but if we go around nothing happened and everything should be the same as before but if we change our position and if we hit s or escape it will just show the surface that we create before not creating a new surface so what we should do about that in this else estate so what you should do first of all you should create the surface surface free and free up this surface in here and after that we should say pause surface is equal to minus one after doing this if you had escape on your keyboard it will go to pause menu and the surface it doesn't exist then it's equal to minus one and it will create it again for us so let's just play it again and you can see if we hit the space escape it will go to pause if we hit escape again and let's just go somewhere else somewhere else and hit escape again and it will go to pause if we hit escape again it will run again so everything is working fine what else we can do we can make it look cooler so let me show you let's say when we are at the pause we want to show something or make it a little bit black for this screen so let's just do that in here when we are at the pause menu we can say draw set alpha to the point five okay and after that just draw a rectangular rectangle with the color from zero and zero to room width and room height the color i want to use black but you can use whatever you want we want we should give it four color so for each one of them i want to use black i copy and paste it and the outline and for the outline i want to say false okay so let's just see what will happen now if you run it no, if we hit escape on our keyboard, you can see there is a rectangular with the, an alpha to it that will be drawn on our surface, okay? So that's one thing you can do. But another thing that you can do, you can create a menu in here to, let's say, make it full screen, enable something, make our game easier or harder or all of that. I will do all of that in my GUI videos that I want to create graphic interface videos tutorials. So in the future, we do i will talk about uh, graphic user interface how you can have that in your game as easy as it can get to be okay with any screen sizes so hope you like this video please if you want to help me hit that like button it helps me a lot thank you very much for watching bye